We live in a world where everything can be referenced online. Imagine if the greatest moments in our sport were never filmed. Eurodisc continues to do what it takes to make free-to-watch live streams a reality. Let's leave nothing to the imagination. We'll consume the action live. And we'll support those that helped to make it happen. If it wasn't streamed, it didn't happen. Eurodisc. What a grab! Oh my god! Somehow they do it! to more action in the women's division here at the European Ultimate Club Championships in Herning, Denmark. Myself, Hannah Pendlebury, alongside Stefan Rapazzo to bring you this Niles game between Aarhus, the local Danes, and Ukraine women. Of course, wonderful to see Ukraine women representing their flag once more, emerging from a nation under much duress at this very moment. But they're great, glad to be here as I'm sure is Stefan Rapazzo. You bet I am, and as glad as you are to see the Ukrainian side here, they are coming out ready to go. The Ninals bracket, not quite down to Ninals yet, of course, final placing. It's like a final is for the ninth place, hence the Wujin, the word fusion, to give us the word Ninals, Anna. Uh, and this will get them to that bracket if they get the win. Arus, the Danes from not far from here, Danish champions this time around. Uh, or actually, I may be speaking out of turn there. I will uh, do a little bit of research back on that. I see KFK in this bracket as well. Uh, however you slice it, we've got a hot one coming up and we are raring and ready to go. A shirt change just before we go. We'll now see the Danes, Aarhus, in red. Yeah, there is no sort of true local home team to the sports, sports complex here in Herning. And what a complex it is. We have so many pitches in one arena. And it is really a joy to be here. But a block out of the back going over the top. Nikolaenko getting the D to start things underway and give Ukraine the chance to take the first point on a break. Nikolaenko arcing blade across Nikolaenko into the end zone and a casual single handed grab Radmila Khadlachova one well, of the three pickups this Ukraine team gets us started well a beautiful kickoff to get things going number 77 Zubenko with the D then that beautiful arcing throw oh, sorry it was 99 sorry uh, Nikolaenko who got the D and then was in the middle of the reception of the pass, but the, the throw from 77, Zubayenko, that was a beautiful little rainbow piece of art there, one side or the other, stretched the field open and allowed for that goal to continue after. So, Aarhus wanting to be a little bit more conservative, just, I'll tell you what, that's not conservative in terms of the throw execution. A reset shot gone awry. Yeah, conservative mindset there to go to the sideline, but the you're, you're right, the execution didn't come off the way it was drawn up slicing to start again this back in the hands of Zuzbenko looking for those give goes of course this uh, Ukraine women team very similar from the Lithuanian side that took some scouts two years ago by numbers but just feels like recent history and that's an easy goal after another gift from Aarhus. Yeah, had lots of other recipient there, found uh, that all too common space cutting to the front corner. Uh, Aarhus uh, unable to get that offense cooking and have showing some difficulties defending as well. The Ukrainian D-line is coming right back at him. And uh, Aarhus, another kick at the can right here to try and right their wrongs. 
So Brickpool will give a gift to Aarhus. See if they can make the most of this. Knudsen. Glad throw that lead pass to Nissen. He's been pinned to that far sideline again. They're going to stretch up line. This time it's Korvac. Oh, what a lovely shapely disc. Doesn't get it on the second attempt though. What a shame. Yeah, real shame. Horvag with a great throw there. Uh, it was in both hands. Uh, that one a little bit of a miscalculation on squeezing the opposable thumb there to make it count, but giving the Ukrainians one more chance to start from their goal line. Again, the blade, the choice of throw. But this time, Kronker doesn't quite make the distance required. One of two Danes playing on this Ukrainian side to just make up those extra numbers. Of course, three additional players allowed alongside your qualifying squad at this European Championship level. Most teams only using that for injury subs. But now the Danes break again with a roll curving flick. And this time it's well kept into the palms of Siniskalki. Uh, had to make up for the last time. It was the same would have been connection from uh, moments ago. This time hitting the 77 shirt of Mina. She's on the stat sheet for the second time this weekend. Uh, that said, Horvang has been a the chief distributor of this team, that making it her 13th assist for the weekend, Anna. Well, she'll be familiar with many of the opposition here. Horvang, of course, part of that Danish women's side, last time out at an indoor European championship. That one, of course, the nation's one. But Ukraine charging up the pitch now. Oh, that one a little bit hard behind, just about over the tape, though. Anna Slienczak collects another stat to add to her already very impressive tally during this tournament. Yeah, it, it, the throw behind it, you almost believed that her foot wasn't in because she was leaning back, but it most certainly was. You see it again there. She hops herself in while kind of doing the lean back, lean back. Uh, I might be aging myself with my choice of musical reference there. Well, you're, you're aging me as well, but we can't say many of the lyrics of that song because uh, no, I know that they're not suitable for broadcast. Just However, the chorus. if you know, you know. Horvang getting herself underway again, streaking up that line, loving that space. That dangerous flick around break. This time just softened for the reset. Oh, slinky inside backhand though. Horvang scubas and it is collected with ease on the front comb. And Horvang, I mean, we, we've mentioned that she's been able to distribute over the course of the, this weekend, yesterday and today. She's getting herself some stats. Nice. She seems like maybe, well, uh, I would bet the most athletic player on her team, per perhaps the most athletic player on this field and on this pitch, it's not a field, uh, a court. and on this court for Arus to be able to break through here. They're the underdogs. They've only won one game in the last two days. I think Horvag is really going to have to put an imprint on this game to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's 2-3 right now. Well, she really is an impact player. But Ukraine have some there of their own as well. Using the overheads well, connecting on the far sideline. Hadachova. That one a little bit squirrely, but Mizura. Using those connections nicely. There's the think about the plant and go, but no, it's just a burn to the open side. Oksana Krevitz able to come through and just use a bit of speed. Yeah, Lydia Misuria thought about it, as you said. Uh, it's often coached, don't fake the throw you're going to throw. And there is a lot of validity in that. But when you do fake it, she had another look around. She didn't just throw, throw it again from the same pivot stance. Had another look around and, okay, well, the second time, the second time going back there, there's something to shoot for, and uh, it paid dividends. So the handy hazard tape to alert players to whether the pool is above two meters or not, being pivotal there. 
Knudsen, low one that's going to be snaffled up by the waiting hands of Nikolayenko once again. She earns herself a block. Mm. A high star count. Going for the swings now. Lukashova. The Ukraine women just happy to hold on to the disc for quite some time. Horvang with a big poach off. Allows that hammer swing. Oh, another brave that's going to be undercooked. How on earth did Nikolayenko catch that? About sort of chin height under duress. Zubenko pops up. Vizura with the hammer. Oh, then that's a lovely compliment to these blades, to this goal. And who else underneath it? Margarita Nikolaenko. Yeah, tough one there for the Danes to swallow. Nissen was in front. And maybe one of those ones where I should bid, no, I've got it, I should bid, no, I've got it. And then once you don't got it, you're, you know, I definitely should have bid there. Uh, that's the way I saw it. She maybe could have been in position. Easier to say from here than to be in her shoes, but could have been in position to bid, but that had position and somehow the magnetic hands of Nikolayenko attracted that plastic disc. Alstead winds up, but it is this time taken away by the close defender matching up with Nissen. Of course, there's no real magnetism between flesh and plastic. In our minds, there might be though. But Lachava, Silky Scuba, reaching to the far break side of the pitch. Has double cutting coming underneath, chooses the wider option. Yuba Mizura, pops it across, back to Hadlachava. Oh, that was some potentially excellent footwork. The defender's going to call it out of bounds. Maybe we'll get another look. Oh, we will. Oh, Yamauchi. Says it's no good. Good call. Very good call. Nothing gets past those focused eyes. Nissen. See attempted by that overhead. Throws it though into the center of the pitch. And once again, that's not the correct option against this Ukrainian defense. The response immediate. One pass, then a hammer for the goal into the hands of Slyanchak. And uh, yeah, that Aaron throw by Nissen straight into the teeth of the defense and the bite back immediately with a one throw conversion, the hammer to the open corner. Uh, Schlinziak was, you know, uh, ambitiously making that anticipatory cut, knowing that uh, as soon as it was the Aaron throw, she was ready for the reception, and uh, that was just good, clean counter-attacking. It's always easier to throw a break around the force. Those inside shots, especially indoors, where the margins of, of error are smaller. Oh, my goodness. Well, talk about a margin of error. Horvang there trying way too hard to keep it, well, get themselves a point. Forgot to catch the frisbee. Yeah, those ones are tough. Uh, and, and, you know, there, there's definitely validity of making that backwards hop but yes that is still the second of two prior of priority of two jobs why make your why you make your life hard i know it looks cool lukashova fires a bullet down the sideline that's nearly taken away by alstead great hands oh, oh and the hammer hand block Oof. She was feeling it, was Alstead charging in to try and get the block, didn't get it, and said, well, I'll just do this another way. Well, that's a great battle between those two athletes as they clear up line. A little bit too late, the discovery from Nissen. And it's going to tipple out of the fingertips. You can see Horvang trying to close the hand around it. It just bounced off her palms. So a short field opportunity here for Ukraine to go up another 6-2 the score and it's a hammer immediately into the end zone Jabenko with the throw and another stat on the board for Kashova. Such a tough call uh, defending in the stack here Horvang you see her on the fourth side the mark was pretty flat from that sideline 
I have a tough time staying on what would be the break side when b b the, f the first step is into the open. Okay, there was not a flat throw. They still had to hammer over the mark, but didn't have to, the, the cutter didn't have to fake, didn't have to jab step, just ran in a straight line with no one to pass. And to that end, you know, your defensive assignment, yeah, they get tricky at that stage, and you sometimes have to make those personal assessment decisions and say, yes, my defensive scheme says to do this, but I'm going to choose to move to the other side as we're midway through a timeout as I ramble. It's always a difficult one, though. Defense is a game of taking away an option and trying to balance the levers of saying which is the most dangerous option, which is the option that my, def my opponent likes most. But very rarely is a team's strength in forcing a forehand side throw because that is what opens up that hammer as the break side shot and the angle of release on a hammer much easier to throw over someone's head than a scuba. Mm. And as, of course, every time you take something away, you give its inverse. Whew. And the best defenses change what they take away throughout the course of the game. So maybe Aarhus can change it up. So you see that pass coming out. Alsted thinking about a big shot to the end zone. It's going to be a swing all the way across instead. See the matriculation though, and she goes for it. What an absolute beautiful forehand. Just sails and cruises into the pass of Yamauchi. Yeah, great finish to the point there. Aarhus puts it all together. The forehand, as you mentioned, the hero. We're going to see it again as the replay goes. Alstead's going to get it back. And this, the finisher, a scintillator to cash. Yamauchi with that goal. Down by four still, as you see Horvang having a breath. She's definitely doing her part out there, but has, uh, has a lot of work to do against this. Ukrainian side, we see two running down. What does that mean, Annie? It means it's a zone step and it's gonna pay dividends as well. A little bit too much contact from Nikolaenko there. So the foul from Trina Kutznutsen, I think is fairly valid, Steph. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm not sure if she called the injury too. She did intercept it and put it down. Uh, You're allowed to. A situation I had in my early playing career that that was very relevant. I'll look forward to that. I'll tell you on Instagram, and then we, if you're interested. But we won't bore you with that. But yeah, recent rules update, you are allowed to intentionally put the Frisbee on the floor. It, does there have to be... A there doesn't have to be a, a immediacy it, about it. No, if it's just a case of if you put the if you put the fr oh oh I mean someone else coming and picking up the frisbee. No, that is valid. She should be the p a person to have got it got it back in play. Well, that's a shot. There's going to be another foul call. Shot. There's going to be another foul call immediately accepted. So from the front line. A little bit of confirmation from the sidelines for uh, Siniskalki. But one on one in the end zone. Can they make the most of it? Clearly looking to reset the frisbee. Gonna have to throw something high and hope. That's a good option to go though if you are running out of clock. And overhead is always a fantastic idea. And Arstead will say, yep, thank you very much for that one. But this, now we're going to have a contested stall out. Yeah, you, as you said, they were running out of options. It was certainly a high stall count. Will it be accepted, contested, accepted stall out? Well, it definitely was high on the clock when that one was released but that is the recommendation if you were uh, you have to kind of just chuck it in hope an overhead indoors is always a good idea Shubenko looking for options no mark so able to take full time Ukraine women Nikolayenko charging but resets taken now it's a little discussion as to where the disc actually left the pitch. Alstead will be able to bring it forward by about 10 metres. 
immediate scuba. But again, the Ukrainian women are just really good at taking away those break side options when they're not far, far into the space to run onto. Slian Shak has the possibility of a reset. Throws the centre field though. Shubanko back to Slian Shak. Oh. Yeah, that's a big old Bosch. Yeah, very unintentional. But uh, yeah, that'll start play all right. Yeah, it's a little stumble from Sinikalski. But an easy lefty backhand just nicely into the path of Gronkier. So this is actually, Steph, a replay of a match earlier on in Pool A. These two teams met. That one was uh, relatively close, but a similar sort of difference. That ended up 15-11 in favor of Ukraine women. So tight enough of a contest the first time around. This time it seems like uh, Ukraine are pulling away early. Of course, it is early. But a similar sized gap already, it, and it seemed that game was this uh, middle chunk of the game where they really took advantage of things. Is that going to be another case this time? Well, certainly proves that uh, Aarhus were able to put many on the board in a row, so they're capable of making a comeback, but rising to the charge. My goodness, another block for Margarita Nikolayenko, that number 99. So explosive. So Ukraine women with an opportunity to pop another on the board, extend their lead to six, but that's just a, a clap of doom there for Hanna Gavrilova. Nice lead up line for Nissen. Oh, and Hornlang escapes her matchup. Just grinds to the open side, and that will put one on the board for Aarhus. But they're still trailing by a significant margin. Just watching this finish again here. There's the catch. She she did have it. She, put, she caught it with her hands and then put it to her body. And if you count that as a bobble, then her second foot would have been down out. It, it wasn't. But it, it, it's, again, one of those things in in a very very competitive game that's if you see that from a certain angle you that's something you may question no 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 that was not in that was not clean uh, but a little bit of difficulty assessing well we see the reappearance of the Aarhus zone worked for them last time it certainly did that danger shot just kind of almost directly into the path of Newson although she's not on the pitch right now said it's Alsted at the back of the zone, marshalling. Sian Shuck, oh, that's a lovely throw, but it's not quite connecting with Gronkier, one of the pickups to this Ukrainian squad. Yeah, lovely shape, too much on it. Uh, lovely spot on the floor. There, she had the space, but just take 10% uh, off it. Yeah, the principles of what she was trying to achieve were a great idea. But can Aarhus, there we go, actually squeezing out and a round break instead of throwing the inside. Oh, the hammer to the end zone though. And the knows exactly where that one's going. Unfortunately, those two are not teammates, so no goal. Sjanschak trying to expand the space deep. That's gonna bobble out the fingertips though, Lukashova put everything behind that. And Ofsted, who has mighty hammers, just needs to find the right pin to put him. That one will do. Muller. Now giving and going. Oh, that's a lovely flick, but it's going to be a little bit too high and a bit too pacey for Dieter Vesgard Hansen. Yet another one beyond the net there. The Ukrainians. Bringing it back with a chance here to go beyond double up if they can cash in. Oh, that was quite a lot of steps. But there is a throw into the defender. Siniskalski. Get that garbage out of here. 
Also talking about it. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. I thought that one wasn't going to come off. But Mola able to keep herself composed. But that isn't the case, unfortunately. Vestergaard, come undone again. Just not able to connect with the disc. Ukraine with a much shorter field this time. About 10 meters out from the far sideline. Senchak, immediate throw. There's a foul elsewhere that's been called, but uh, very, but a bit confusing there. So, Mola, you know, called the foul, didn't really do make any hand signals for attraction. And a hotly contested up line cut's going to give Ukraine the possession once more. Great knock away by Jubenko there. Up line, chase D. Alstead though, this is <laughs> becoming one of those long and drawn out points, but that is a really lovely option. Siniskalki, back to Alstead. Alstead having lots of ideas that her receivers aren't necessarily on board with. But this one looks like it's going to be good. Yes. Vestergaard making no errors there. Gave you some excellent yards. And another hammer. Oh, that was, again, a lot of pace on these throws. And you could literally hear the frustration from the pitch, Mike. That was Alstead slapping the floor with both hands. Yeah, you're in good hands with Alstead as the old. Uh, I'll see if anybody can catch that reference. You're in good hands with Alstead. Tell me if you know where oh, I'm coming from. This is in the comments, from. yeah. <laughs> well, in the live chat, sorry. Or the comments if you're watching this one back after time. Oh, now that is a hammer to be proud of. What a beauty. Jibenko saying, all right, that's enough of this point. Let's have another one. And I perhaps get a bit of time off. And that will be half time. So in fact, we are going to get a little bit of a break here. But don't go anywhere, folks. Moment. There is a chat happening on the pitch. Almost halftime, potentially Almost half time. If that goal stands, it will be. So I think a foul was called and uh, a claim for you didn't listen. And I think they're walking it off and saying, okay, we the foul was called, but it's okay. Is perhaps I, I think where perhaps, this is going. Yeah, that seems to have been, a, a, a might have been about the uh, the foul that Murder called way earlier in the point, but perhaps an off the disc foul. Yeah, so that, that looked nice and clean for the Ukraine. But anything can happen, folks. The fortunes of Aarhus could change, but currently Ukraine women nine, Aarhus four. Second half action here in Denmark, the European Ultimate Indoor Club Championships. Of course, hosted by the wonderful European Ultimate Federation, or the EUF, as obviously everyone likes the three-letter acronym. It's even got its own acronym, a TLA. But Aarhus at the moment trailing by five points against Ukraine women. They had a game earlier on in this tournament that had a very similar difference, but a very different start to the game or who's struggling to find their rhythm and the Ukrainians being punishing on D nice lead throw there that's a little bit of a spicy biscuit but it's thrown towards Nikolaenko and we've seen time and time again in this game Stefan she's capable of throwing any not catching any disc thrown remotely in her direction wow that was coming straight to her schnoz she had to clap her hands or she was gonna take a piece of that on the beak so a very very good job to clap the hands to catch the goal but protect herself at that stage it was an absolute essential it was coming 
right at her. Uh, and a nice way to start the second half. 10 4 there, little buddy. <laughs> you miss me, don't you, Hannah? I, I have missed you, Steph. I've missed you dearly. In fact, I've been playing with Stefan Rapazzo commentary uh, gambit soundboard in your absence. Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> oh, yes. Lucky it's, you. It's a product that the people desperately need, Steph. <laughs> Bit of point and shoot from Aarhus. Oh, and it just about works. Oh, oh. the second pass. What a shame. After such greatness to just have that play come off. It looked very skew-if. So good, so close, but so far away there in the end. And then a, a, another case of the same going the other way. Racy Biscuit, but that is this time clutched by Anna Christine Nissen. Yeah, Nissen uh, did well there to make up for that one. Took it high, one hand, very confident. Uh, looked good taking the Horvang pass down. There's the air throw and Horvang very quick to go back this outside in backhand floaty and nice yeah high and going away from the body still following the flight path towards the out of bounds so not an easy catch so Stian Shack will have to take that one from the back line just sort of watched it sail over her head really a little bit of a poach from Nissan to try and cast some doubt Nikolayenko on the underneath. Oh, that is an absolute laser. It's not often you use that word to describe a hammer, but that came down to earth like an absolute comet. Yeah, helix laser. It does deserve its own sound effect. Maybe we can clip it up and pop it, pop it on Instagram. Yeah. With some kind of like space theme. Yeah, surely there's a better sound effect board than the one that I just provided with my mouth somewhere <laughs> on, on the internet. Well, in this day and age, Steph, I'd say yes. But give you know, why the clock back ten years? Your sounds are pretty good, mate. Okay, I'll stop. Warhus, <laughs> Horvang, looking for Nissen up line. Lovely, expansive work. Are they going to do exactly the same again? Oh yes. Why wouldn't you? Now goes for the flick. Three pass goal, and this time, the pass in the end zone. This time, it's magic. As efficient as we've seen Aurus after a pull reception, uh, that was, yeah, beautiful three-pass offense. They threw all the right throws to all the right cuts. Uh, and I guess that starts with making all the right cuts first, used the space wisely, and took exactly what their defenders were giving them. A excellent job there by Aurus to get that offense going and to try and find the spark they desperately need. Indeed, they. in order to have this game continue after the time cap has expired, they will need to be within three of their opponents at the moment. They trail by four or five, depending on whether the Ukraine have just scored. So a break here would start to really close that gap and put pressure on Ukraine women. We see again the zone coming out but doesn't seem to be causing too many problems. Halapchevap with the soft hammer over the top, and this time there's nothing that Knudsen can do about it because the space is already well occupied by her fellow countrywoman. I mean, beautiful shape to it. Is a soft hammer the exact opposite of a laser hammer? This is like the pillow hammer if the other one's the laser <laughs> hammer. I'm, I'm with that, I'm with that. Uh, but beautiful touch to it, uh, no wobble. So like as much as we say, like a slower moving, it's had a little more loftiness to it, but very intentionally so, thrown for reception and uh, even reception with, you know, a defender in the neighborhood. Uh, nice throw. Yeah, and a nice grab by Clara Carlson. They, of course, being one of these uh, Dane pickups. Horvang. Oh, that's a lovely backhand, but it's a little bit too spicy and ping. It goes off of the fingertips of Marie Christ. Yeah, just a touch of cayenne pepper on that one. A little bit too much. Chops the fingertips off. P -p 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 Paprika. Not smoked, not sweet, but spicy. Mm. Can you tell it's been a couple of, uh, couple of games in a row at this point? But massive shout out to our production crew. The keeping the keeping the streams going. 
Yeah, keeping it absolutely real. Nice take there. Nikolanko, of course, doing the biz. That one's a little bit too far, though. Mazzurda racing up that sideline. And once again, Nissen will be picking up, taking on that responsibility. The 28-year-old gets the attempted weave from her teammates. Horvang lays out. Doesn't quite get there. The disc just hitting the ground a couple of inches in front of her. Loved that bid. I love. You know she's going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, she she is just a great player, just a great athlete. Oh, so is Nikolayanka, though. But Horvang, ooh, nearly an opportunity to go underneath and catch that after she knocks it out the ground. Sky, even. Yeah, going to ground, knocking out the sky. One of those cases you always say, catch your Ds. If you're not going to make sure you do it like that, two hands on it, really make sure that's smacked it. Less wind gives you a little bit more ability to knock away a D than, than in an outdoor game. Solid stutter cut there from Horvang. Nissen now. Oh, that's golden opportunity. And well kept. So another on the board for Aarhus. And I do think that might be a break, Stefan. Yeah, big one if it was. Actually, I, I retract that statement. It's not a break. Oh, yeah. A hold, just not the cleanest variety. Yeah, a couple of, couple of contestants. We haven't heard a break, actually, since the midsection of the first half. So, Aarhus are now finding a bit more of themselves, their form from earlier on in this tournament. Of course, this is playing through this 16-team strong division. So, we're about in the midsection. Of course, the winner will have a chance to play for the illustrious Ninals. It's always nice to finish on an odd number, especially at the top of a bracket. Oh, now that is a beautiful little bit of offense. Quick turns, quick throws, solid execution. Ukraine women maintaining their five-point lead here in this game. Carlson cashes that one in. They were wide open. And here's another look as the pass comes from Jubenko. Fun fact, Carlson narrowly avoided being an arrow athlete, i.e. doing archery. Decided ultimate was more fun. I've not done much archery myself, but I've always admired it. it seems like something fun to do. It's not an obvious crossover sport, but now I think about it, Steph, I know three female ultimate athletes who also done archery. In fact, one that's actually recently retired. But, I mean, there's retired a lot Retired from ultimate or archery? Retired from ultimate to pursue her uh, archery career. But I suppose there's lots of crossover in terms of your being able to fire it where you want to, but that one is not going to be able to be caught by Anna Christian Nissen. Just yeah. a little bit too... I mean, shoot, it's going to shoot, but that was a bit too far. Yeah, looking for Nissen, but just narrowly missing. Nikolayenko, that one. Oh, oh. sensation of a grab. Hang on, we got to check those hands. She must have some stick them on. Well, I mean, sometimes you d if, you, if you're oh. allowed to wear gloves, okay. then you're that definitely allowed to have twice. like sticky chalk. That's allowed. <laughs> With Shakova. Lukashova, sorry. Got cap. Looking for Lukashova. But the stall out, not surprised to see that, Steph. And no, it will accepted. Be accepted, yeah. Yeah, the stall count eight, of course. A reminder for those of you watching, it is not quite the same if you did uh, rules wrinkles, differences, and that being one of them, the quicker stall count, and that time, uh, Anna Gronkiar accepting that, uh, yeah, I couldn't get that one off. So Aarhus with the disc again. Horvang. Oh, that's a lacy flick. And it hits the target with ease. Nissen, the clap catch. Yeah, the 93 shirt really telegraphing that hammer, just holding it up for 
the, the entirety of her stall count, but it still manages to get it away. Horvang to Nissen, a classic combination at this stage. They are have been hitting each other with uh, some regularity. And they're, as you say, Hannah, the, you know, a bit of separation at the start of this game, but they've been going back and forth for a while. 13-8, the five-point gap. Uh, work to do if Adus wants to win this game, but they're not, you know, falling any further behind. No, this needs to be a break, though. Otherwise, when we get to four minutes' time, it's going to be more or less game over here for the Danish dream of ninth place. Ukraine women moving it around the reset space with ease. Havachavado fires to the end zone, <laughs> scoops past what might have been the intended receiver. Carlson was hanging around on that far sideline, but it works. Sanchak with another to add to the tally. And that keeps the distance between them and Aarhus. Yeah, nice uh, assist there by Hadlakova. Home city of Brno, Czech Republic, playing with them. And uh, a cross-country skier on her free time when she's not kicking butt and scoring assists playing ultimate oh if only the dream the dream of being able to be paid to be an ultimate athlete and so this not being your free time <laughs> Horvang oh waits for it but that's a nasty drop what a shame such a nice idea but again Aarhus just not able to really catch in that one particular corner of the end zone on the first try yeah Nice little stretch there as uh, Nikolayenko goes to field the frisbee. Oh, oh, that's going to take a second effort. Oh. And lay out as well. Fires it away, though. Perhaps a little bit of conservation of greatness. Oh, that is a zesty flick break. Hangs on just about, throws the secondary. And there we go, that one will work out. I don't see this one going in the favor of Aarhus, but it is lovely to see them finding some form here in the late stages, Steph. Yeah, Horvang again there, uh, that clap catch, uh, off kilter clap catch, keeping her thumbs, and then turning upfield to strike with the blade for the goal. She's having an excellent game. She's still swinging from behind with her compatriots or teammates from Aarhus, but they are fighting. They are not going down without swinging here. Hadlachova, that first pass to Sjansak. Good gainers on these throws from the Ukrainian woman when they do connect downfield. Oh, that's a lovely one as well. Perfect execution. Carlson just checking their feet, but well in bounds. Nice score there for Carlson, indeed in bounds. The junior coach in Denmark. To be fair, actually, I think indoor might be a favored format for a lot of coaches. Echoing what I said on an earlier live stream, this is a game, not a sport, this surface. Outdoors, there's much more space, it is way more in favor of the true athletes, whereas your decision-making capabilities indoors can be really crucial. That one is squeezed on the far sideline. Nice idea, nice shape on the disc, but Aarhus unable to connect. So if the Ukrainian women can put this one in, it will still be a full stretch game to 17. But as time expires, if Aarhus end up scoring this point that will be match over but it's always nice to finish with a goal for the eventual winners that's going to require the layout and it comes from Nikolayenko absolute hero for this Ukrainian side she's going to think about the big shot throws it a little bit softer but the drop is your I think Horvang got a hand on that one too but how about that last one? Here's the other look. Look at that layout. And sense of mind as well to keep the head off the floor, but it goes into her hands on defense. Didn't need to catch that one. Nikolayenko, again, that one arcs. Bukashova, that 
one just about snuck in, or was it out? Sideline seems to say it's out. Here's another look. Ooh. You know what? I, I think uh, it is in. That's I, good. I, I disagreed with the coach immediately saying it was in. At first I was like, I don't think you're right. And looking at that again, I think he was right. Uh, well, they don't get the benefit of our video screens. It's all the old school way. Everything happens as in motion, as you see it on the pitch. Klovang to Nissen. Looking for Horvang. Oh, soft scuba. And there we go, folks. A great game. Aarhus, though, will not be able to have the time to make it up by being over three points behind their opponents. The victory and the chance to take ninth will go to the Ukraine women. And I have to say, Steph, a relatively well-deserved one. Yeah, indeed, a good game. Uh, very much deserved. They're going to Ninals, and we are going to a trio of semi-finals in three different divisions coming up. And that excites me just a little bit. <laughs> well, it's all semi-finals. That was a semi-final, but it's going to get a bit ragey up in here. The next three games, of course, the championship brackets to be decided. We will start you off in the open division coming up next on the screen, so I'm sure plenty of you will be tuning in. But thank you for joining us. Ukraine women will take it over Olhofs in this rematch. This time, a bigger score difference, 16 to 9. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Yeah, ultimate. Ulti.tv. Listen to me as I say